The National Urban Rele the National Urban League rather has released its State of Black America, and the report is grim. Fox 26's Domley Keith joining us live with what Houston leaders have to say about it. Yeah, the Urban League says it's been providing the state of black America for 46 years so that it can show research and data and not opinions and emotions regarding opportunities for African Americans. According to this year's report, inequality is changing slowly. Take a look at this figure from the latest National Urban League State of Black America report, which says even in 2022, blacks are only getting 74% of the American pie, meaning, for instance, blacks have a higher rate of incarceration, lower access to health care, job opportunities, and education. In all areas of education, we still lag behind our white counterparts, making sure that children have access to um, uh, pre-K making sure that kids are reading at grade level by third grade. President of the Houston Area Urban League, Judson Robinson, points out fair housing is also still a major issue. According to the report, black couples are twice as likely to be denied mortgage or home improvement loans. If you're not a homeowner, you cannot build wealth. So the more people that you keep out of the wealth cycle, then the more likely you are to create other cycles that are not good. The Urban League says the wealth disparity has gotten wider since the civil rights days, with the average black household income at less than $44,000 a year, compared to just under 70000 for whites. You all be treated uh, with the same degree of fairness to uh, reach the American dream. And when our policies don't reflect that, then our democracy is understood. The Urban League says systemic racism is so difficult to overcome because change is happening slowly, causing blacks to slip further behind. Now, the organization says it releases the report to present an accurate picture of what's occurring and so that solutions can be created. Reporting live, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.